You asked for time. Is this long enough? Yes, my head's clearer. Though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, I mean? Not today. You've got questions. You might as well ask them. You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I had a contract for Colivan in the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Minrathos. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. I know Katerina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it. Especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Rook. Such as? I owe you a debt, for one. And after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. The crossroads can be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you see a spirit around called the Caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so I try not to do it much. No one was in the ossuary by choice, not even the demons. We both did what we had to, to get out of there. So, if you're an abomination... I suppose I should get used to that. But I heard that only mages can get possessed by demons. I'm skilled with a blade, but I promise you, without spite, I have the magical talent of a brick. There must be some difference between a demon deceiving their way into a body and being forced into one. Only Zara knows for sure. When you have nothing but bad choices, better to take the one that saves you. And now comes the rest of my life. Our life. Leave Spite to me. If he's trapped in this world, he has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods. Magic. Politics. Hmm. Things are going to get very bloody. Okay, try again. Deep breaths. breaking things. Take a deep breath. Let's talk this through. I wish I could, but I can't. Not right now. My thoughts just keep bouncing around, won't line up. The Alluvian was easy. Once I replaced the resonance crystals, adjusted the lyrium lens, it worked fine. I mean, I had to realign the matrices, but it just worked. Not like this thing. You don't give yourself enough credit. You're smart. You'll figure it out. Well, thank you for thinking that. Of course. Also, 
What is it, exactly? It's the Nodis Durthalin, the Eighth Archive. We... I heard it was gone forever, but here it is. So, what does it do? It knows things, whatever its creator knew, at least. So much knowledge, all the wonders of Elvenon. Or at least bits of them, which is more than we have. Once I figure it out, at least, whoever made it was powerful, but clumsy. It's resonating off tempo. Need to match it. First, introduce a microfracture. But before that, you'll need the fate harmonics, so... Sorry, I, I ramble sometimes. I'm a rambler. Ruined a lot of relationships. Most of the people I've been with didn't care for it. And I'm doing it. Again. I could listen to you ramble all day. Oh, well, same to you. Not that you ramble. You should talk more. I mean, you talk plenty. Just the right amount. Ideal talking. Okay. Anyway, the Nodis Durthalin. I'll get back to it. Soon. But I think I need a break. Maybe take a nap and I can finish later. Hey, if napping works, then nap away. Okay, I will. Anyways, let me know if you need me. I'll be ready. They'd found someone who could fix their mirror. One of Arlathan's own veil jumpers. Just what they were looking for. And Bellara had found something else. An artifact that held a wealth of lost knowledge. But a prize like that was going to attract more attention than they'd bargained for. Manifestation. I'm heading out to practice my new magic. I could use some moral support. I really have to get better at using my new abilities. Don't want to drop a rock on someone's head.
The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. The deeper currents. That scent. I can't place it. Coffee. Like Hilario and I smelled in the kitchen where we grew up, but that cannot be right. Could be magic from the ancient elves. The Anton. Here. Now the Anton. Stay alert. What happened at the Meta's crossing spread? Not much we can do to stop. As you were. Demon of Virantium, huh? And they called you that before, the demon. Ah, you don't have that enchanted barbed arrow in your quiver because you think it's pretty. It is, though, isn't it? The red shimmer is the enfeebling magic, and the spike tip is designed to splinter. Nice 
You were saying? Ah, you don't have that enchanted barbed arrow in your quiver because you think it's pretty. It is, though, isn't it? The red shimmer is the enfeebling magic, and the spike tip is designed to splinter inside the target. Very nice. I thought you'd like that. I really hope I don't have to use it, though. It cost me a lot of gold. This should be perfect. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Do you actually think you might hurt someone? Not on purpose. If I can actually work my magic safely, maybe I can convince you it isn't bad. Come on. The new abilities are a bit boresome, but I'm sure they'll be useful. You could use them to get places you can't reach, things like that. Good point. I should try it out, don't you think? All right. See this rock? I'm gonna move it. Oh, awkward. Why are you just standing there? Do you want me to turn around, give you two some privacy? But I did it before, when we were fighting Darkspawn. We were in danger, maybe that helped. So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. You're thinking too hard about it. Maybe think less and feel more. Have fun. Go with what feels good. Feels good. Right. Connection. Joy. Fun. You know, we would sometimes go to the shore of Lake Callanhad in summer. My friends and I would collect stones and see who could build the best rock fort. I bet my fort would be the best now. Oh. <laughs> it worked! It worked! That was a great idea, Rook! I provided encouragement, everything else was you. But the encouragement was the thing. Well... I did it once. What's important is whether I can do it again. Either way, I think I'll need more practice with this. Don't you? I wonder what's up there. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. I'll take a look. I bet you could move this to give us something to climb on. You got it. Well done. Let's find another rock for you to practice on. Bliss in oneness. A voice, a chorus. What? I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? Huh. Just came to me. Think you could clear a path for us? Heard ya. Look at that. You're getting good. Want to try another one? Why not? I'm on it. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. So many rocks. And they feel different. That one's granite. That one's slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. 
Let's get back to it. Practicing, I mean. At least you're learning to control the abilities. That's a good sign. I know you were a bit worried, but I really think it'll be fine. What was that? Someone's in trouble. Over here, Harding. We need to move quick. Please, someone! Is anyone out there? Someone's in trouble. We need to go. where he is. How about if you move this rock? There he is. Let's hurry. Easy. Maker. I thought I was dead for sure. How are you feeling? How's the leg? Broken, I think. But I'm alive. And I'm grateful for that. On the rocks. How did you do that? I... Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you, touched by the ancients as I was. Find me, look to those closest to the stone, and find me. Buddy, what's wrong? What are you hearing? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety, and then we'll talk. Travel. All right, everyone.
Maybe if we found the people the spirit's talking about, that might help. Spirits overwhelmed by bad emotion. Eventually, they turn. Could this spirit sense the agony of the Dalish who recently died in the forest? Help them! Help me! I, I can't move! Can't I move? I can't feel my legs! Huh, the giant owl. Must be something to this. Another statue. There's an alpha there somewhere who really likes owls. This Aravel has seen better days. 
Part of a damaged caravan. I hope every one's all right. Yeah. It's completely burned. That must have been a big fire. And this scorched relic. Is this what started the blaze? That spirit could have sensed what happened here. <laughs> something. They came in for shelter and couldn't get out. The spirit probably felt their fear too. Another one of those owl statues.
A broken alluvian over there. No fixing that. Still in one piece. Those statues don't look right. They aren't statues. Those were people. What happened to them? It's like they were frozen mid-stride. to go never seen anything like it i'm used to plants that you eat not the other way around let's not stick around and become dessert this a hala statuette they died holding this and all these hala corpses didn't that spirit say something about hala these people must have been trying to find their lost hala then nightfall and
couldn't stop it from corrupting everything around it, including himself. themselves being transformed by magic and could not escape. We saw another one of these corpses earlier. It must be happening all over, and the spirit must have sensed it. So many dead. So many things left behind. I wonder if we could somehow memorialize them. Let's head back to that spirit. Maybe we can ease its distress somehow. I found those people. You don't have to feel this way anymore. I have so much fear before the darkness. Make it quiet. Make it go away. I don't understand. It would be appeased with a simple gesture that makes it believe the dead are at rest. Spirits of comfort. Very empathetic, but not the brightest, according to Spite. Another owl. Is what that does. I've come across ancient elven artifacts before, but they're usually broken. Some of this looks brand new. Maybe it's connected to all the floating ruins. Fighters, scholars, explorers, friends, family, and lovers. We will remember you as you live, or not as you die. Go in peace. Rest well. A moment's pain does not undo a lifetime of hope. Thank you.
demon of Virantium, huh? And they called you that before, the demon. Ah, you don't have that enchanted barb arrow in your quiver because you think it's pretty. It is, though, isn't it? The red shimmer is the enfeebling magic, and the spike tip is designed to splinter inside the target. Very nice. I thought you'd like that. I really hope I don't have to use it, though. Cost me a lot of gold. That's why you only have the one. Well, I only need one. Especially from this close. Occupied. The insult of it. It's more than insulting. Insulting the wound. And that is my purview. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt. But more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? Forgive Thea. She gets testy when a contract is delayed. Neither of you strike me as a bloodthirsty sort. Our shared enemies deserve our worst. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord butchered Dathrata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that. With the help of gods or... Something else. Despite it being the outcome, assassination is not about killing, it's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped. Where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information? Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, killing him isn't the contract. The gods care about taking Treviso. The Butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Anta. But Antam distrusts magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. You're in charge. Antiva has a king. And the power of a king is enforced by armies. Antiva has no army. It has the crows. There's a reason Antivan coins have portraits of guild leaders, not royalty. 
We're patriots. Crows can't field a battalion, but we protect our nation our way. Butcher Dathrata. What do you know about him? The Antam army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the Butcher himself is odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. Helping the Crows helps everyone in the long run. What's the first step to your message? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something the Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drawn District, so that's a place to start. Find our Crow and help with his contract. Find your Crow, then what? We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The Crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the Drown District. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for once again. Beyond. Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. You're new as well, right? Fearless. Threatening the demon of Virantium to his face certainly proves it. You know, it's actually the opposite. I'm afraid of what you are. I'm brutally honest. She didn't mention that part. I've seen demons. I know how they can corrupt. I know it won't even be your fault if it happens. But I won't let someone else turn on my friends. No matter how scared I am. Good. Keep your bow close. A fine evening to the not my friends. Not even an army stops the Treviso market. I've always loved market days, except for when they're occupied by Antam. Cafe later? You like meat? You like meat? Try some lamb. Very fresh. Meat. Fresh meat. If the butcher wants Treviso to thrive, he needs to let sheep sail freely.
Bunch of Antam stop me on my way to work. Demand that you know who I was and where I was going. What gives him the right? There's the place. Keep your eyes open. We may not be the only ones interested. You was my cousin! We... But you could be a bomb! Attack! Don't worry. Tear and Diago sent us. You with the cops? Yes! Kill them! Kill the Antar! They killed Darren! They killed my cousin! They're weak on the left! Got them! Please, you have to finish Darren's contract. It's about the Butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the Butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then, someone has to finish this for Dareth. Please. We will take care of it. Go back to the Diamond. I will, just... Just give me a minute. We should see if that... That note said Darius should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Teir and Viago. Just follow the marks. There will be a trail of marks left by previous crows. It will lead us right to it. I saw something like that on a wall we passed earlier. Let's go look. A crow mark? Perfectly thrown. That's got to be Dareth's trail. Keep an eye on. Another mark this way. I'm glad the market's still open during occupation. It probably helps to feel that some things are still the same. I meant to pick up more spices. Another time. You cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You think, ah, this time he's definitely gone full demon. It's not personal. If you're watching me in battle, you leave yourself open to our actual enemy. Here's another crow mark. You were saying, if you're watching me in battle, you leave yourself open to our actual enemies. The power of the demon-possessed assassin should make... This is where the marks lead. Darth's contract must be here somewhere. The Butcher is making poison. Kamek. The poison that destroys your mind? 
That comic? If I were the Butcher, it'd be a good way to keep people in line. We cannot let the Butcher unleash this on Treviso. He won't. The Antarm brought in a comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. We stop him there before this goes any further. Almost there. We're in. Let's find the coming master.
outsider. Time to test my gift. I am will made flesh. So much flesh. First things first, let's destroy the rest of the poison. Then we figure out what was going on here. That's the last of the poison, thankfully. Let's look for anything else that explains what's happening. This note says that wasn't all the comic. The butcher's angry because some went missing. What? Who stole it? No idea. But the note does mention the butcher's inside traitor. The occupation had help. Taya and Viago need to know they were right. your minds someone had to act they most certainly did not i told you crows to stay out of this out of what defending our home if we had a stronger civil government instead of a bunch of circus criminals the Antom wouldn't have a foothold in the first place Uh, circuses charge admission. We did all that for free. This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. My concern is how you've endangered the city. We're defending Antiva. These protections are in place for the good of everyone. 
You act without oversight. We crows are the oversight. And yet here we are, awash and on top. And now you've angered the butcher. It's bigger than whatever it is you're whining about. The gods are corrupting some of the Antam. And the Butcher? You two are right. You had help taking the city. Human traitors. I didn't want to believe it. Killing the Butcher does nothing if someone could just sell us out again. I'd start right here. You Talons are known for infighting and betrayal. You're accusing them. One of their crows died for this contract. That's enough. Rook, thank you for finishing that contract. The only reward we have is to ask you for more. We're allies. Of course I'll help. Ivenchi is right about one thing. The Butcher will not like that we're fighting back. We need to be ready. Rook, I will have every crow tracking this traitor and the gods and we will send word when we find something. The stakes are too high. This should be left to proper officials. Go back to filing trade receipts, Ivenchi. The crows rule Antiva. And Treviso will be free. With or without you, Governor. Are you one spirit who moves around, or different spirits who all look the same? As needed, Dweller. Right. To other shores.
The spirits are returning. And thriving again. Good for them. The spirits spend money on that. Never mind. What do you have? You cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You think, ah, this time he's definitely gone full demon. It's not personal. If you're watching me in battle, you leave yourself open to our actual enemies. The power of the demon-possessed assassin should make up for how twitchy everyone else gets, right? Rathus, the heart of Tavinto. Somehow the beast of it always pulls me back. It's just how I left it. It always is. Did the Shadow Dragons know we're here? Nev Gallus! You only turn up when you want news. Or you've got some. Tarquin! And it's Rook now I hear. Tarquin? I thought you'd be gone for good. How are things? Same old Minrathus. Mages not letting us poor, ungifted wretches forget where we stand. You know the Viper. It's always an honor to stand beside a legend. That's gonna go straight to his head. You'll keep me humble. So why the meeting? Is this about your work with Varric? Something terrible got loose when we disrupted Solus's ritual. A pair of elven gods. Gods? They blighted a village in Arlathan. Demeter's crossing. There were venatory whispers about that place. Now we know why. What's been happening in the city? Underground sacrifices. Dangerous relics flooding the black market. The cults gathering power. Relics? What kind? We were tracking a set of Red Lyrian relics before you got here. Smuggled in recently. They enhance blood magic, and can summon demons far too easily. We destroyed one, and tore another off a slaver. We think the third's right here in Docktown. Docktown's my home. If it's got problems and I'm here, I can track this faster than anyone in the city. Hold on. I'm happy to help. It's fine. I can catch up with you. We don't know where the gods are or what they're doing. We're here for help. It's fair I give some in return. The relics don't play nice with the veil, and they resonate with each other. We destroyed the lyrium in the last one we found, but it should still track the third. Give it to me. I'll get it done. We'll keep eyes on the Venatori. If there's a tie to these elven gods, we'll find it. And welcome home, Rook. Try not to get yourself run out of the city again. Ready for a tour of Docktown? Stick with me. The relic the Viper gave us responds to the missing one. And it is. It should pick up places where the missing relic disrupted the veil. Find a trail of those and we'll get somewhere. So you live in Docktown? My whole life. Unless I'm away on a case. Or crashing in the Fade. Harding said the Archon's Bali shot at you last time you were here. And now we're chasing a dangerous relic through the streets. And people wonder why I never get sleep. 
Aha! The relics pulling toward the Temple of Andraste. The demons... they... Uh. What happened? It's locked down, sir. Keep it under control. Locked. We need another way in. Right. On it. We're breaking into a chantry? We broke into a prison. But no. The courtyard's public ground, and we can't lose the trail. Is this what you do for the Shadow Dragons, when you aren't with us? I look for things. People, objects, information. People have problems that Templars and Magisters can't help. Or won't. Word got out I might. It's enough to live on. If it doesn't get me killed. Bodies in the courtyard. Stay sharp. Killed. Based on the marks, I'd say demons. Definitely. Demons. Is this the relics work? It's not the coin. <laughs> Relic we're chasing, it's unstable. Where it moves, chaos follows. This isn't the only market left on the veil. I can feel it. Find that, and we may get more. Couldn't escape the demons. If there's family or a friend, I can track them down later. Make sure they know. Is this what we're after? Let me take a look. You bet. Was that? It's a remnant, an echo from the Fade drawn to magical disruptions. If the relic drew it here, 
The voice could be a memory of the smuggler. Courtyard's quiet, fewer eyes, so you cut through here, where there's a path to the market. Follow me. Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. I've got this. All right, follow me. You know, I took this job. It's on me. And the Venatori cult's no joke. If anyone wants out... Stopping Venatori is both our jobs. And my specialty. Well, there's something to have in common. The threads took care of it. They keep trouble away. You've got to give them back. You think he's acting different? Yeah, I don't know. With demons loose. Everyone's jumping, right? The relic was close. Find another remnant and we might learn more. There. Is that another remnant? That should be no problem. There's always a way to get places. Too many people in this city. You haven't dealt with crowds in a while. No. We need a lot of targets for the Venatori. Painting, tapestries, floor coverings, beautify any space. A lot on display. Nice target for thieves. If the stand's not being watched, it could be they have a nasty spell to ward you off. Ah, of course. Coin spare? <laughs> Almost there. Remnants ahead. ring when ships go in and out. Could be using them for timing, near the docks. I think our smuggler's on a deadline. The relics pull agrees. Let's visit the docks. Elevator's locked. Someone forgot to bribe the dockmaster. Still up for a walk? This isn't the only way to the docks. Food later? Oh, yes, please. I think she does it All right, through here. Here goes nothing. You know all the shortcuts in Docktown. All its secrets? <laughs> no. If someone thinks they know all Docktown secrets, they're either kidding themselves or scamming you.
They were back asking questions. Wanted to know what relics I'd seen on the black market. You think it's for blood magic? <gasps> Come on. This path will swing back to the docks. that relic's in Docktown. These are my neighbors. That relic won't stay in my town. This city hasn't changed. You spent time here? Before, yes. For a while. Though not in Docktown. Oh, you got the fancy targets. And they're expensive. Serious. Can't get you bald again. Home sweet home. Enjoying the tour. Getting closer. Sure thing. Soon. The buyer. Meeting. Right. A meeting, but where? The trail's starting to fray. Wrong turn. Nice. Couldn't they belong to the Venatori? Not a chance. Ugh! 
Looks like we have company. Is everyone all right? I... Nev, you're back in the city. Templarana Savas. Don't say you missed me. <clears throat> I wasn't going to. Really? Because I heard there's a relic loose. With Red Lyrium? How do you... Never mind. You can't say. You never can. Rook, meet my friend Rana. At least I think we're friends. <sighs> yes. And Rook, if you're with Nev, I take it I can trust you? You can trust I look after Minrathus. And you? Are you in someone's pocket, or...? She's not like that. If you have anything on the relic... You're on the case. It's my job to stop illegal magic. You're working this alone? Not if you help. There's a rumor the relic trades hands tonight, and Albin Bataris is the buyer. A magister's son. Interesting. I should get moving. Nev. Don't worry. We won't stop until this whole thing's settled. That's, uh... Look, you're busy. We just got attacked, which means you won't leave until you're sure no one else is lurking around. <sighs> and you won't wait. What can I say? Work to do. Where are you going? For a walk to the spillway. I'll catch up when I'm done. If you say so. Our trail is frayed, but the spillway is our best bet. Let's go. Rana's not a shadow dragon, so you work with Templars too. Rana's clean and her information's good. The rest? Only when I have to. And the spillway? Rana mentioned Arvin Bataris, and she doesn't share rumors unless they're likely. Arvin's father oversaw some construction there. If he's visiting this part of town, that narrows the search. A barrier. They don't want people getting near the deal. Find the unshielded crystals and we're through. That's one down. Must be one left. That's it. We can cut through the barrier now. We need to keep moving. Voices. There's someone up ahead. Albin Bataris. Your relic. Gods rise and power with them. For the glory of Tevinta reborn. Albin's our buyer. And a Venatori. Sounds like the cult is working for the gods. You're supposed to wait. Just a taste of that power. We need to get closer. We can't let him bolt. We have our relic. Venatori don't need that relic. <laughs> You're here to stop me. You can't <laughs> stop the Venatori. This power <laughs> will what? Impressive. 
And this part's mine! You'll not... I hear Benadori. I might have questions for him. Fine. You won't walk away from here! More demons. All of them break loose. You won't be releasing any more demons. And you're the smuggler. I know you. You're part of the Threat Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, sure. But Red Lyrium. Working with Venatori. It's not your style. Here they are. My son is no cultist. He was completely misled. I appreciate your help, Knight Commander. Let's go. You know he's guilty. How much did it cost the Magister? Watch it, Gallus, or you'll be charged. With what? I tie something up and you undo it? Isn't this familiar? Save the sob story. We got the smuggler. Or do you want Bataris to release her too? I'll find a way to fix this. People like Bataris. It's why the city needs us. Yeah. At least we stopped the literal demons. We did. And we got the relic and the smuggler. The shadows will watch the cult. If that leads to the gods, they'll send word. Count your wins, Rook. We both know they don't come easy. It wasn't a perfect ending, but Docktown was safe. From tonight's demons, anyway. Nev's past was coming back to haunt her. She just didn't know it yet. See what Nav has to say. <laughs> 